All right, boys. Let me show you that real quick right there. I got a bunch of wet wood. It was green wood to begin with. Um, it's actually what I was trying to make my bow out of for the uh, challenge. It uh, it's just if I'd investigated a little bit more before I tried to use it, I'd have found out that mimosa wood has got to be the crappiest thing you could ever try to make anything out of but it is all green it just snaps real easy and you can see it's got that wood burning I mean it's wet wood there's no it's not dry wood at all it's wet and uh it's getting it going now it's gonna smoke a good bit and it's gonna crackle and it's gonna pop but uh it's definitely building up a big enough flame base that you could get it going and uh, you know you could set some wood around it build you a little reflector set some wood around it if you need to to dry it out a little bit and uh, of course I've got it packed down with wood I'm intentionally trying to drown this thing out but you can see I mean it's got that wood burning and all I'm doing is taking pieces of green wood and splitting it that's actually where I had the top of it notched for my uh, string that it just snapped clean I'm just popping through it real quick in a couple of places using my little buck buck folder here and uh, I mean you know that's in all wet conditions like in the first Pathfinder challenge that right there could be a, a good little lifesaver I could definitely you know cook over that with my uh, canteen cup or anything like that you know I could hang something over it and cook it's giving off a good bit of heat that's a warm heat because it's wet wood but I mean a, a moist heat I should say but uh, you could cook over that and the important thing is it's building that that base of coals is getting a good bit of heat going to dry out some bigger pieces of wood and uh, get all that burnt for you so so this stuff I thought it'd be good to work with just because it was you know a hard wood but it's just too brittle so I hadn't give up though I've got a piece of uh, birch as soon as the week's over I've got the weekend off and I'm a do my bow this weekend and put my video up of it I hope but there you go that's the uh, fire starter squares by Rutland it's called safe light fire starter squares uh, dollar four or dollar I'm sorry a dollar ninety nine a box I believe I'll check my receipt and annotate it in the side there but dollar ninety nine for 24 of them it will start with your uh, fire steel they're a little bit bigger than a wet fire tender but uh, definitely easy enough to pack in your pack when you're going out. Another backup for your little fire kit. So that's it for right now, well, uh, fellas. I'm going to go in and pop this up on YouTube real quick. Get out of this smoke because it is definitely a, a smoky fire. But uh, that's it in a nutshell for you. Y'all got anything else you want to see, feel free to let me know. I'm going to just let this burn on out here and uh, burn up some of this trash. My wife fusses every time I use the grill, but I do clean it off before I cook anything on it again. <laughs> just in case anybody's wondering. Um, but I'm going to let that burn out. Clean the grill off real quick. Y'all need anything, feel free to comment me. Leave me suggestions, comments. Uh, anything you think will work a little bit better I said this is just all you know cheaper alternatives to buying things like wet fire and stuff like that I know wet fire tenders are kind of expensive a lot of people like them but they are expensive um, you know you get you know they're probably a dollar a piece to where you know these are not even ten cent a piece for the uh, wet fire squares so that's it I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate everybody that chipped in on the auction too. Um, I want to mention that the Pathfinder Youth Group auction was a absolute blow me out of the water success. I'm real pleased with the way it turned out. Um, Going to be a lot of happy kids 
I'm hoping we'll have another one and maybe if we have another one I might uh, put something up in it see if I can't add to it uh, definitely appreciate everybody for you. you don't know how much it it makes me happy to see people giving especially with the way the world is right now uh, the way things are going in the economy and all it really just touched my heart deeper than you could ever imagine to see people give that kind of money for this equipment you know and and it's going to help a, a group of kids that don't even know it's going to help them yet you know this this is people you don't even know so I appreciate everybody from the bottom of my heart um, I appreciate you watching and uh, I said if you got anything else just let me know and I'll I'll be more than happy to do a video for it just as quick as I can thank you much